To be honest, I can't say I love Starbucks coffee, but this special spot in Tokyo is no ordinary Starbucks. In fact, if they changed their name and logo, it'd be hard to know this was a Starbucks at all. Welcome to the Starbucks Reserve Roastery, one of only six in the world, and an immersive experience that's nothing like your average coffee shop. Rather, it's a bit like high-end cafe meets art exhibit, and then mixed with Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. And in today's video, I'll take you inside this impressive four-story coffee haven in Nakameguro, Tokyo, and show you what makes it so unique. You'll also discover that it's not just a spot for coffee connoisseurs, it's a destination where you can enjoy handcrafted beverages exclusive to the roastery, special offerings that rotate throughout the seasons, and even coffee-themed cocktails for those looking for a little extra kick. We'll also mention a few useful logistics tips that may improve your visiting experience, as this spot draws crowds from around the globe. And if you stick around until the end, we'll show you why the roastery is especially magical during cherry blossom season. From the moment you step in, you'll notice that this doesn't look anything like the typical Starbucks. Designed by the famous Kengo Kuma, the architect behind the Tokyo Olympic Stadium, the roastery combines modern design with traditional Japanese elements. The centerpiece is a giant 17-meter copper cask decorated with sakura motifs, where the freshly roasted coffee beans rest and degas. In terms of overall layout, there's a total of four floors, with the first three offering a plethora of distinct drinks and delights. For example, this whiskey barrel aged cold brew is a crowd favourite and is only available at reserve roastery locations. The coffee beans used here are aged in bourbon whiskey barrels and then extracted by a cold brew. Though this drink has whiskey in the name, it's completely spirit free. And what's even more interesting is how it's popular even among those who aren't particularly fond of whiskey. The experience is a complex and nuanced interplay between the aroma of whiskey and cold brew, with a flavour that's lighter, sweeter and more delicate than expected. Another crowd favourite is this creme brulee latte, which appears to be exclusive to this Tokyo location. Touting the rich aroma of hazelnuts, this latte is topped with brown sugar and torched for a crispy, bittersweet and delectable caramel finish. But as I mentioned prior, you don't have to be a coffee enthusiast to discover a delicious drink here. On the second floor, you can explore a wide assortment of premium teas and stone-milled matcha creations. And given that there's probably no better country to experience matcha, browsing this floor before making your final order isn't a bad idea. Also, if you'd like to complement your drinks with some baked delights, it's worth mentioning that various foods can be purchased at floors one through three. Now, the third floor of the roastery hosts their Arriviamo bar, where you can enjoy all sorts of exciting tea and coffee-based cocktails. For espresso martini enthusiasts, they have a tasting flight offering that allows you to experience some fun twists on the cocktail classic. The base espresso used can be chosen from three types of seasonal Starbucks Reserve coffee beans, and each taster has its own special spin. And on the topic of classic cocktail-inspired concoctions, here's a Tokyo Roastery exclusive. A modern and uniquely Japanese take on the old-fashioned, this drink combines Japanese whiskey and umeshu, or Japanese plum wine. Then the drink is adorned and finished with none other than a cherry blossom leaf for good measure. The Arriviamo bar also has an exciting assortment of intricately themed spirit-free cocktails, allowing you to join in on the festivities while keeping the fun alcohol-free. I personally always make it a point to explore their menu as they have seasonal specialties that vary across visits. And now, let's touch on a few tips to make your visit smoother. Due to its popularity, this place can get pretty crowded, especially on weekends and during peak seasons. Though, the hours are surprisingly itinerary friendly, typically from 7am to 10pm, meaning an early morning breakfast or a late evening drink would likely help you avoid the brunt of the crowds. Another quick tip is that the Arriviamo bar's ordering line on the third floor is often less crowded than the main first floor, but offer all the same espresso and cold brew based beverages. This is a potentially significant shortcut, especially if you look up their menu beforehand and know what you want. Regarding seating, there's space available on all four floors, but it can get quite sparse, especially during busy hours. But grabbing a complimentary reserved table placard before you order comes in handy for securing a spot while your drinks are being made. 
made. Or better yet, if you're in a group, you can designate a member to scout for seating while the others wait in the ordering line. Now, as promised, here's perhaps one of the most magical features of the roastery. Given that it's located right off of one of Tokyo's most famous cherry blossom spots, it's an outstanding location to add to your Sakura season itinerary come spring. While it's about 10 minutes from Nakamehaguro Station, the walking route is right along the river promenade that undergoes one of Tokyo's most magnificent cherry blossom blooms each year. This makes it an excellent multifaceted destination to slot into your itinerary as you can enjoy the roastery's exclusive seasonally themed offerings in addition to soaking in the general area where countless cherry blossoms can be seen literally from the doorstep. And because the cherry blossom bloom is quite widely enjoyed in Japanese culture, the extra magic of the season makes its way beyond the obvious offerings and into the little details, making springtime at the roastery an especially endearing experience. So in the end, whether you're here to sip a handcrafted espresso-based beverage, enjoy a premium tea concoction, or just soak in one of the most visually stunning cafes in Tokyo, the Starbucks Reserve Roastery could be the spot for you. But that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, wishing you the best of travels. Cheers.